Today I will be talking about the use of Lexicam to treat osteoarthritis in cats. The cause of osteoarthritis is often unknown, but the end stage disease is the same. A decrease in proteoglycan content in the articular cartilage leads to chondromalacia, degeneration of cartilage, and the death of chondrocytes. This degeneration activates macrophages, which will secrete interleukin-1 and tumor necrosis factor alpha. This will then promote the secretion of prostaglandins, which will induce inflammation and, and pain, as well as inhibit proteoglycan synthesis, which will lead to a cycle of degeneration. Melexicam is an oxycam in the class of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Its mechanism of action is to selectively inhibit COX-2. This inhibits the production of prostaglandins from arachidonic acid at sites of inflammation while having minimal effect on COX in the kidneys and GI tract, thus reducing the risk of adverse renal or gastrointestinal effects. Inhibiting production of prostaglandins will reduce the induction of inflammation and pain. There are many decent studies showing the efficacy of long-term use of Lexicam to treat osteoarthritis in cats. I will briefly go over two of these studies. The first one is an experimental study in which eight healthy cats were each given a different dose of Lexicam, including two cats that were just given a placebo. Then synovitis was experimentally induced in one of their stifle joints. The efficacy of Lexicam's analgesic properties were assessed objectively and subjectively. Here is an illustration of one of the objective measures, contact pressure. As you can see from the graph, the cats that were given the placebo were most reluctant to put weight on the affected limb. Well, cats treated with Lexicam were willing to put more pressure on the limb. The strength of this study was that it was an experimental study, so the researchers had more control, which meant less possible confounding variables, and they used objective measures. The biggest weakness of this study was that there is a risk of bias because two of the authors are employees of Bowringer Ingelheim, which is a manufacturer of Medicam Melexicam. The study was also funded by them, as is most of the studies available on Lexicam. The second study is a prospective clinical trial in which there were two groups of cats with osteoarthritis. One group was treated with Lexicam daily, and the other was treated daily with glucosamine chondroitin. Owner-assessed mobility scores showed that Lexicam was effective in improving mobility and activity level in cats with arthritis while glucosamine chondroitin had no significant effect. The strength of the study was that it was double-blinded, randomized, placebo-controlled, and there were no conflicts of interest, no connection to Bowen or Ingelheim. The weaknesses of the study was that there were low patient numbers and lack of objective scoring. It is worth mentioning that long-term use of Lexicam in cats in the United States is off-label use only, as there have been some incidences of renal failure and death. However, the evidence has been primarily anecdotal. Since then, many studies have been published showing the safety of long-term use of Lexicam in cats. And long-term use in cats is registered in many countries, including Australia, New Zealand, the UK, and Europe, with few adverse reactions reported. However, there is still a risk. The best vets can do is to assess the risk and try to minimize it by taking the appropriate measures such as using the lowest effective dose and regular monitoring. Thank you.